NFL UK just released a video of the progress update of all the international player pathway players, Lewis Rezamit and everyone else. And this is the first episode and it's called Being Uncommon. It's gonna be fun to watch and see how they're progressing, getting a little bit of the behind the scenes look of what's going on in the facility how they're training these athletes to get ready for the combine, which is coming up here in about a couple months here in the United States. And it's gonna be interesting to see how these players are evolving from rugby and learning the game of American football, because there's similarities in the game, but there's also major differences. And when you're preparing for something like the combine, definitely working on your start and your 40 time is massive to getting a good clock on the 40, um, skill progression, all of everything that goes into a combine. So it's gonna be interesting to watch this play your pathway journey and documentation we're going to check it out in this video and if you like this reaction crew let me know by dropping a like hit the sub and notification and we're going to get into this video i appreciate y'all being here let's go it's going to be cool to see the behind the scenes and how in depth they go on this one and Let's jump in, crew. Let's see what it's all about. This is episode one. It dropped, it looks like, four days ago. So we'll see how it all turns out. In terms of breaking news, it concerns Wales wing Lewis Rees Zamet. He's been released by his club Gloucester with immediate effect so he can pursue his dream of a career in American football. American football. You know, football. my dad played American football growing up in, in Europe and, you know, it's been a dream of mine. It's probably the biggest decision I've ever made. That's cool. So that's cool that his dad played in the NFL. I didn't... Well, you mentioned in the comments, I'm not aware of which team he played for. I imagine, like they said, NFL Europe when they had the NFL European team, the Barcelona Dragons, and the teams in Germany. I forget what they were all, what then all the teams were called, but that's cool that his dad played in the NFL. So it sounds like he has a little bit of a background and understanding of the game of football, and it's may shorten his learning curve by having his dad's experience, him knowing the game. And I, some of you in the comments have mentioned that. He used to live here in the United States when he was younger, I think around 12 or 13, his early years. So it doesn't sound like he's going into this like uh, cold turkey. It sounds like he's had an introduction to the game from a young age. And this says, Lewis Rezamit is heading to the U.S. to adapt his skills to the NFL. We sent a crew to film his journey over the next 10 weeks. 10 weeks? Okay, good. So we might get, we might get 10 episodes of this. That's good. That's good. I, this is what I was looking for. I love the behind the scenes. This is my, what I'm used to, crew, seeing <laughs> a football field. <laughs> nice little helmet. Oh, and I think that's... the first thought of being in the NFL was when I was a young boy. Helmet looks good. I knew that I had to play rugby for a long time before that. Played for Gloucester since I was 16 years old. Damn. Without okay. them, I, I wouldn't have done anything in rugby. I've played for my country. I've gone to a World Cup. I've played for the Lions. You know, I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. And just allowing me this opportunity to, to come to the IPP program and try and live my dream. That's I think really the theme cool. uncommon that we've been using this year is it's very motivating for all of us because, you know, we're all from different places in the world. We've never Christian played Wade. American football before. We're all different builds. You've got players that are massive, offensive, mm -hmm. defensive linemen. You've got pacey guys like myself and Praise. You know, we all push each other. We're all accountable for each other. And at the end of the day, all of us want to play in the NFL. And if we can help one of the boys do that, then that's going to be extra special. See how we set on that route? The group that of players path? that we have here, it's we believe nice. reflect the kind of guys, if they just happen to have been born in America, they'd be playing in the NFL. Or at the very least, they'd be playing a very high level of football or have the option to. For sure. The fact that they were just born in another country means that they never had that option available to them. True. It's 10 weeks, largely trying to replicate an NFL training camp schedule the kind of routine they're going to have to build once they're in an NFL club. It's on-field practices, film review, learning the game in a classroom setting, it's lifting weights, it's running, it's going to team meetings, it's being on time, it's being early for all of those things. <coughs> I I'm a huge Football believer Academy. that you it's can't go through in America. this process alone. I think this camp and this program, we need to build in a way where they have to that's lean on each other. I think iron sharpens iron. It's a cliche that's used all the time, especially in the league. Yeah, they're at the IMG Academy is huge in America. So, yeah. The helmet has to be super different. I'll talk a little bit about that. What's new and different about Lewis's situation is that he's 22 years old and he has a sport 
at his feet. He can do whatever he wants in the rugby world, and he's choosing to be here. And I think the message that that sends to the world and the message that we want to nice send hands. to the world here is that the IPP can and should be a destination for the world's best athletes. Working on explosion. And Lewis is certainly one of them. One side, you've got all these skills that he's going to have to learn from scratch that are new and different. He can catch a ball. He's been catching a ball his entire life, but yeah. how does he catch this ball and in what way? Those kind of things we have to tweak and work with him all the time. Yeah, but as much as possible, we need to make sure that he's not unlearning any of the things that have made him exceptional up to this point in the sport that he's been playing. Exactly As soon right. as he That's gets perfect. that ball in his hands, we want to teach him how to run the route, how to take the hand off, how to get the ball. But once he he's got the great. ball, I want him to be Lewis Rees-Samet. I want him to be Wales winger, Gloucester winger, one of the best rugby players in the world, one of the fastest try scorers in Tuck world it. rugby. I think the hardest Catch challenge is probably my body's Catch obviously not Tuck. used to running full, full pace and then trying to, you know, stop immediately. Yep. And I'm, I can definitely feel that in my legs at the minute, but you know, day by day, I'm I'm slowly getting okay. used to it, and you know, my body will, will adapt. And floor and, press and is really good for strength and, and explosion. I mean, all the coaches really care about us, and and they really want this dream of ours to be a reality. They're doing everything they can to to make this happen. Let me look at that. So week one is stance and start, get off, footwork, block, destruction, and bend. I'm not too familiar with block destruction. I'm guessing that's separating from a block, so. How is you you know you get you get locked up with the with the defender and then just breaking out of it? Um, maybe the I don't know what the bend is. I have to look at the, look at that one. But definitely stance and start. I have to see what pos what position they're talking about because each one is a little bit different. The get off is important if you're playing wide receiver. Footwork of course is massive when you're you're trying to break off a different route. Um, the completely different footwork when it comes to you know playing rugby and playing a wide receiver in the NFL. There's a lot of intricacies that that go into it and even block downfield blocking is going to be massive if he's playing wide receiver in the league because he's not always going to going to be getting the ball so he has to be able to lock people up um at the line of scrimmage or even downfield when a running back is running around the edge something like that so there's, there's going to be some differences that he's picking up and it's cool to see how they're doing the the 10 week progression of this and you know building out his his skill set on top of the incredible skills that he already has um from from rugby and just building upon that and making it you know tweaking it towards the game of football. Happen and to us now to push ourselves as hard as we can on the field, off the field. We spend a lot of time talking about the kind of athletes we want on this program, but what always translates is that combination of skill and athleticism and character. Lewis is exactly the type of person we want to have here in our building. The word that we're using with this class particularly a lot is uncommon. We're asking these guys to be uncommon in their approach. Yep. We don't want them to just go there and try and be like every other American player on the roster because they're not. We want them to want to be that outsider, to embrace that image of the outsider and say, you know what, I do stand out, but I'm going to continue to stand out for the rest of my career and as long as I'm playing this Good game. Run. Call it's it the underdog, call tough. it whatever you want. These guys are different and we're That's glad it. they're different. Yep. We want to be different. Everything that we do on this program is different. That's the way to break out of it. You receive the ball, you tuck it, get upfield. He looked really, really good on his route running right there. That's cool that the NFL Europe is doing that. NFL UK, I should say, is releasing that behind the scenes footage. I absolutely love that. That's really cool, crew. I love the behind the scenes footage and hearing the mindset and philosophy behind um, the IPP program. And they're training at IMG Academy, which is prestigious here in America. For the, It's a well-known football academy studs come out of their freaking studs very cool to see what they're doing as far as building upon the the marketing of these players because you know lrz is one of the biggest names coming into the ipp program i know there's more big names in there and i'll look up the the ex extensive list of everyone who is involved in the program and i'll i'll do my research and see who they are as players and you know becoming more familiar with them but the biggest name coming out of this is lrz of course young guy very marketable like he mentioned he was on all of the the elite rugby teams he was on the lions he's been in the in rugby since he was 16. he's been to a world cup so he's already a very accomplished athlete in the realm of rugby and it's cool that seeing his background of his dad playing in the nfl so he has that he has that knowledge base he's not coming in um just like cold turkey and trying to learn the game of course there's aspects of the game like route running downfield blocking um, learning how to like catch and receive a ball. Like there's so many things that happen in the NFL in football that's way different than rugby. Like rugby is more of a consistent flow of running as you're going down the field, you're pacing in a sense. 
football is so high paced and it's intense you're going for short bursts of energy so it's a lot of power a lot of explosion when you're thinking about running routes and all the plays happen within a six second range i mean the longest play is usually around six seconds that's around the average and so you have to be very explosive that's why you see him doing like when they're on the ground they're doing bench press but they're doing it on the ground which is known as a floor press because it's working on explosion you want to have that explosive power so if somebody you're getting jammed on the line you can jam somebody up throw them shed the block and things like that and that's things you're not seeing in rugby and i know you in rugby it's called like knocking on and that's why i always say i've been calling it fumbles and you've all corrected me uh, it's called a knock on in rugby but creating turnovers forcing fumbles when people are trying they're ripping trying to put trying to punch the ball out that's why when you see a receiver like he's running his routes go do a break he catches it and right you're taught to catch it and you immediately have to do it you have to tuck it it's different than holding the rugby ball where they're running sort of it like like it looks like to me like they're under under holding like a rugby ball and football you're you have the tip of the ball coming through your fingers in a sense when you're holding it, you're wrapping it and you're tucking it high so you can just have that extra pressure on the ball against your chest against your arm so you're not getting it punched out so it's cool seeing all those different progressions as they're going through this player pathway and learning those intricacies of the game and that's why knowing football having played it my entire life i can see the nuances like how you can see the nuances in rugby where i i'm not i don't have a trained eye for rugby at this point yet i'm learning to pick things up from all of your help i have a very trained eye for football and knowing what it takes because i've seen some comments saying like you know you know trying to do the compare and contrast between rugby and football saying nfl is weaker and rugby's tougher and it's like all that's good and well like i respect both sports i think they all have their pluses and minuses and it's not about putting two sports against each other putting athletes against each other it's about respecting each other's game i was born here in america so this is the game nfl and football is the game i know and love and you were born in Europe, New Zealand, Australia, wherever you're from, rugby is the game that you know and love. And I respect that. And so that's why when I see comments that are just like, you know, negative towards football, I fight back against it because I understand the ins and outs of the game of football. And that's why I go into rugby with, with such an open mind because I know there's so much detail. There's so much little like things that i'm not seeing with my eye that you know and understand and having played the game and like you playing rugby you can teach me those things and that's why i've always i'm always open-minded about sports because to play any sport in this world it takes a level of understanding learning dedication to excel at the highest level and uh, that's why i absolutely love these videos and everything as far as they're doing like the background and the behind the scenes of this these players because as they mentioned they were just born in a different country had they been born anywhere else in the world if they were born in america more than likely they would be professional athletes or play the game at a very high level so it's based on your genetic lottery they just happen to be born in in europe and they understand the game of rugby but their skill and athleticism is going to be crossed over because to be, be an exceptional athlete there's tenets that go into being successful whether it's in athletics your career your life your family or whatever they have those tenets and principles that are innate to who they are as players and athletes and it's cool to see how they're just molding those different um skill sets to another game and just uh, you know building on what they already have so i love this video crew i hope that you did as well we're going to be doing more as they continue to update and release these episodes from the nfl uk i appreciate you all dropping in let me know your thoughts and everything and if you like these type of reaction videos and just the thought processes be sure to drop a like hit the sub and notification and in our description below check out everything we have going on my website qsn.gg where we just did a, a branding re-switch crew. We start off in the gaming space, but as I've learned and grown with this company, gotten to more rugby content, getting to the more of the sports, I always love gaming, but sports is something that has just really resonated with, with, the, with the audience of QSN. And it's something that I know at a deep level. I understand, I understand nutrition, performance, health and wellness, all of that stuff that goes into being an exceptional athlete. So QSN is now a, a a performance company for athletes and so we have our supplements available on our website the laser focused stack we have merch available for men and women that ship worldwide and we're continuing to build this out crew and i appreciate you being here and you know being here with in in the new development and growth of this company and supporting as you always do crew but that'll do it for this video i love you i appreciate you always remember to stay laser focused on your dreams and your vision and remember that you're in control catch you on the next one all right peace